winter oilseed rape is a huge, hugely important crop uh, for winter growers in Ireland because it's the most opportune crop to follow after, after winter barley and certainly before winter wheat when you want to get profitable yields. The breeders, I suppose over the last 10, 12 years, have done an awful lot of work in oilseed rape variety development. The Department of Agriculture trial series is where we base our figures from and the Department of Agriculture, we would say to people, you know, if you're picking a variety to sow in autumn 2024, it's important that it's on the Irish recommended list. And why you might just that when there's so much information coming from other countries, especially from the United Kingdom, it's because in Ireland we have a pretty much unique set of challenges for oilseed rape. And people have to think about light leaf spots, they have to think about pod shatter, they have to think about straw strength. All of the things that can actually rob you on oilseed rape, the Department of Agriculture are testing each year in the climate that's here. So it's important to get your, your variety from the Irish recommended list. So in terms of our main variety for autumn 2024 is Aurelia. Aurelia has been a variety that has performed really well for us in trials, in the department trials, but also on farm. It's the most popular variety in Ireland. Uh, most of the area is Aurelia and uh, for all good reasons. So the first thing about Aurelia is that Aurelia has a very solid yield over a long number of years. It's got very good scores for straw strength, but I suppose one of the more important things about Aurelia is its stem health. And stem health and you know how healthy the stems are is quite important because we want to get a crop of oilseed rape that actually is able to tolerate disease or resist disease as the crop moves on. So at this time of the year, oilseed rape is drawing nutrients from the roots, from its stem, from its leaves, and filling the seeds. So at the end of the life cycle, it's completely different to winter barley or winter wheat, oilseed rape, most of the yield formation happens towards the end of the season. So it's very important that the pipe work or that the the flow of nutrients and the flow of water to the seed is not interfered with. And if we look at a variety of oilseed rape, you know, that's a little bit weaker on light leaf spot, you can see these brown shaped lesions on the stems and these stems are infected. And what happens with oilseed rape is, is that these, these stems that are infected with light leaf spot, they're not able to transfer the nutrients and the water from the roots, from the stems, from the leaves, up into the, into the farming pods or the seeds. And that's how yield can be lost. Another thing is that on, on the booklet here, we have some very nice uh, photographs from previous years just to show that. And you can see the difference between the greener, healthier stem on the oilseed rave versus the ones that are infected with light leaf spot. And what we've noticed in SeaTech over a number of years is that the ones, the varieties such as Aurelia and Aviron and Dart that have very good light leaf spot resistance, very good scores, those varieties have less seeds on the ground when we're going into harvest them. And the difference between a four and a half ton to the hectare crop and a five ton to the hectare crop, that can be the difference as to what's on the ground. So Aurelia then, in summary, it's the number one variety in Ireland. It's the variety that has super uh, disease resistance for the wet weather diseases here, but it also has very good straw standing ability. I suppose one of the, the other things that farmers also get a little bit concerned about with oilseed rape is that coming up to harvest, is the, is, the, is the crop going to actually stand? Will it withstand storms? Of all the varieties that we sell, Aurelia is the one that I would say is bulletproof or bombproof. You can almost, you know, omit sprays, you can forget sprays, you can have bad weather that doesn't allow you to spray on time, Aurelia won't let you down. And that's the reason why it's the most popular variety in Ireland. So moving on then, the second variety that we have on offer this year, about 25% of our seed is Aveyron. Aveyron and Aurelia have similar traits in terms of they're resistant to the turnip yellows virus. They have very good light leaf spot scores. Both varieties, Aurelia and Aveyron, are super good in terms of pod shatter and yield. But I suppose the biggest and most standout ability of Veron is the fact that it's 108 for yield. Um, it came onto the recommended list 2024 for the first time. The Department of Agriculture are very happy with it. A, ver a glowing reference is what you'd say. It's got a, a very good scorecard. Um, but the difference between it and Aurelia is that it has to be managed a little bit more for its, its crop height. So we would tell people in the kind of February, March, April time 
plant growth regulators have to be applied to a Veyron just to keep us that little bit more upright and to ensure that it doesn't lean as much. With Aurelia, it's a different story. You can forget about the plant growth regulators. Some people do, and it will still stay standard. But with a Veyron, there will be a certain amount of leaning if you omit the plant growth regulators. Now, in terms of what's here behind us and what's in the department trials, when there's a normal application of plant growth regulator, a Veyron stands extraordinarily well. The second thing that's a little bit different about a Veyron versus Aurelia is that it has a super way of growing over the winter. So if someone was to say to me, Tim, I'm the 15th or the 16th of September, I still haven't sold my oilseed rape, what would I sow? It's a Veyron is the first bag of seed I would give to you. It's a big crop to grow over the winter. It recovers days that are lost if delay, sowing is delayed, and it does have an ability to get to the target GAIs earlier and more repeatable than other varieties. So in the booklet here, we have set out some milestones for oilseed rape in terms of plants per square meter, but different to the other crops, we've also added in the GAI targets. So at the start of spring, we'd like to have a GAI target of two because that allows us to cut back on fertilizer and to save nitrogen and to save money uh, for yourselves as growers and as, as advisors. Um, but also at the start of flowering, the GI should be at three, and that's another target that, you know, a Veyron will meet very, very easily. DART is newly recommended this year in 2024, had a very good performance in the Department of Agriculture trials. Different from Aurelia and a Veyron in terms of DART actually will flower earlier and it will also um, harvest earlier. So. If you want to consider what varieties are kind of similar in terms of their economics, Dart and Aurelia are very similar in terms of their yield, disease resistance, in terms of their straw strength. Um, Dart and Aurelia are very similar in that regard. I suppose, look, one thing is Aurelia is proven on farm. Dart is coming to the market for the first time in 2024 in significant quantities. Um, but we'd expect farmers that grow Dart in this year to stick with it for next year and to expand on its acreage. Dart has all the bells and whistles in terms of its, um, in terms of its uh, pod shatter, it has the genes, it has the turnip yellows resistance, it has super light leaf spot resistance. Just remember, it's earlier to flower, it's earlier to harvest. We will have seed of it in 2024 for people to try out and I don't think you'll be disappointed with Dart. The last variety I'll just mention a little bit out is Beatrix. Um, it has the suffix uh, CL after the name, that means it's a clear field variety. Very important to remember that when you're purchasing a variety of clear field, that you don't make a mistake what field gets what variety. Because if you apply the Clearanda chemical, the clear field chemical, to a, a non-clear field variety, there'll be very little oilseed rape left in your field. Okay, it'll be a crop failure. So it's very important that if you are choosing a clear field variety and you have other varieties on farm, that you get the right chemical applied to the right crop. Beatrix again, you know, all of the clear field varieties, if you were to look at them, um, they all carry a yield penalty compared to the best varieties such as the Aurelia, Veyron or Dart and that's to be expected because they're a little bit behind in terms of generation. But Beatrix for us has performed very well. Where somebody has brassica weeds in the field, where somebody has volunteer spring oilseed rape maybe from a historical problem, if you grow an ordinary variety there it will suffer. Whereas if you grow Beatrix, you apply the Clorinda chemical, it will produce a profitable crop of oilseed rape. So that's where we're going with Beatrix. We've other varieties here as well that we're looking at uh, for the future. The last thing I want to talk about today is just a little bit of work we did on um, uh, seeding rates. So what we've done is we've, we've tried to establish 20 plants per square meter, 30, 40, 50 and 60. Uh, we've done that with the one variety. We've cut out little squares here, as you can see, where you can see the branching. And one thing that we have noticed is in terms of the pods per square meter, which is our last target on the circle on the oilseed rape, uh, we aim for about 7,000 pods per square meter. That's the target that's required for a high yielding crop, five tons to the hectare or grazer. But um, in these seeding rates, there isn't much of a difference between them. So the 20, the 30 to 40 plants per square meter established, there's a very small difference between them, only a few hundred pods per square meter. So there's a huge, what they call an inelastic response to seeding rate or to um, plants in oilseed rape. 
and you know we do this work here to show people you know if they have a tin crop or a dense crop how can you manage it differently or what will the end result be